Market sentiment turned so after a report of the World Health Organization. It said that last week there was a significant increase in the number of new coronavirus cases for the first time in the last two months. Earlier, experts warned about the possible new wave of the pandemic in March. Yesterday, risky assets enjoyed beyond demand. We thought that risk on sentiment would not last long, but we could hardly guess that it would evaporate so quickly. The US dollar index advanced even more amid such a turn of events. The index, which measures the strength of the greenback against the basket of six major currencies, keeps rising. At the end of today's Asian session, it broke above the level of 90.20. The US dollar is also in favor after the encouraging economic data released yesterday. The ISM manufacturing PMI jumped to a three-year high in February. In addition, the US economy is expected to get back on track quicker after the adoption of the $1.9 trillion stimulus plan. Apart from the growth of public debt, the relief package approved in the Senate will contribute to sharp acceleration of inflation. Besides, the higher long-term yield has made the US dollar a more attractive asset compared to other currencies. The dollar yen faced ready near seven months high. It broke through the upper limit of the ascending channel. Shortly after, it entered the consolidation phase. Technical analysis experts suppose that the pair is taking a short break before an attempt to rise to the level of 107 and 35. In the Asian session, trading activity was rather low, as traders were expecting the announcement of the Reserve Bank of Australia's meeting results. The Reserve Bank of Australia capped its official cash rate at a historic low of 0.1%. Yet, the regulator will continue printing money Money, though it's a quantitative easing program. It will purchase an additional $100 billion in bonds to pump up the liquidity in the market. The central bank also admits the possibility of further monetary policy easing. Philip Lowe noted that the bank is prepared to make further adjustments to its purchases in response to market conditions. The RDSD pair remains in the correction range between 0.7765 and 0.7783 following the results of the meeting. Technical analysis experts forecast a reversal and a decline of the pair to the target level of 0.7641. And that's all for now. We wish you profitable deals. See you now channel with a new video in a couple of hours.